Well, season five was a bit of a new start for us with a new car, a new driver with Robin, new equipment, new software, many new things. So it was a bit of a step in the, in the unknown, but um, I was always very confident overall. You know, I think the objective was to finish in the top three and we've delivered that, but uh, we finished in the top three. We have the highest um, amount of uh, uh, wins, um, equal to the Estachita, many podiums. So overall, it was a very successful season. Consistency will be very key, right? It's, uh, and that's something that's really difficult to achieve in, in Formula E uh, because of the track conditions and, and the normal format of a, of a race day in Formula E. But we will have to work on that to make sure that we can, as much as possible, back points every single race, and that's what will take us to the, to the end. So uh, yeah, we will see. I don't expect an easy season, but I expect a very enjoyable season. One thing I'm pretty sure of is that season six is going to be a cracker in terms of racing for the fans, that's for sure. Attack mode, which worked really well in season five, attack mode is going to have 10 more kilowatts than last year, and it's a very significant difference, so it's going to make um, um, attacking and defending uh, even more powerful. And the other uh, new uh, regulation change is the fact that um, uh, an amount of energy, one kilowatt hour, will be uh, deducted from every minute that we spent on the Foucault Cielo or safety car. And that's also very important because even, even though it's a technicality, what it means and how it should work out in practice is that we shouldn't really have flat out races until the end. So even if we have a long safety car period, we have to save energy until the end of the race, which means again, that should promote overtaking. Because of these two things, on top of what we saw last year, I'm very confident that the racing is going to be spectacular in season six.